Okay, so this is Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. Um, the top, the next topic of my conversation, I am going to introduce myself. I, my name is Queen Battle. I am a certified medical assistant, adult and pediatric first aid responder for the American Heart Association, as well as a community health advocate and also a military veteran. I served in the United States Army Reserves in 2003, 2004 in Texas. So shout out to all my military veterans, friends, family, and supporters. All right, so pretty much my next topic today, I've been going through a list of, I've already been now, this is number nine or 10. It's pretty much talking about the list, the list. So I went to a, a meeting uh, last week here in the city of Boston and it was talking about COVID-19 and pretty much I saw on this list, it's a guest list, a guest list, and I saw on this list was um, um, uh, the guest list it had um, was a little bit concerning to me but I saw the name of a person named Ramona and then I saw the the next list down the the line was um, another guest that was invited to this meeting was Larry. So um, I was a little bit concerned about this list, and so what I really wanted to get a, to get in contact with you is if perhaps you had a list made against you in life, or you had a list of things you want to accomplish. And so pretty much our list, a heavenly, a heavenly list. And so pretty much what I what I am trying to describe to you is that. Life always presents you, presents you with circumstances. Circumstances that you want to change or that you want to become more involved with. Okay, sometimes, most of the time, you set goals and you set expectations for yourself and, and your life changes based on those expectations of how you reach that, you reach, the, you reach your goals in life. You, you have reached over and beyond your, your potential in life. Okay, and usually, for me, for me, most of the time, I'm always making lists. I'm always making lists. The Queen Battle always makes lists. I make lists, and that's how I go about my day, accomplishing all the tasks, as well as I have a journal, I have an agenda, and I always have an agenda, I always have a to-do list of things I want to do, things I want to accomplish. But usually, that list has a positive impact on your life. At the same time, though, they can have another another list where somebody doesn't like you. And that person can say, I just don't like that person. I just don't like them. I just don't like who they are. I just don't want to be around that person. I just don't like that person here. And so they may have something set up against you to fail. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a negative connotation. It could just mean that they want you to fail. They don't want you to succeed. It could be anything has that could be a barrier against you, a barrier set up against you to fail. Okay. So what I'm dealing with, okay, I'm dealing with a lot of issues, especially here in the city of Boston, where I've had, where I've been exposed to situations and environments where it has been led to me to set. I've been led to set up to fail. Okay. As a single black woman here in the city of Boston, okay, low income, no housing, homeless, no job. I have a bachelor's degree, which is good, but some, I've heard from a lot of people that say people don't care about your education. Your education doesn't mean a thing. They don't care how many degrees you have. I've heard that said by plenty of people here in the city of Boston. People don't care about how many degrees you have. They don't care. People don't care how many degrees you have. And that can also be another part of the list where people, they just don't want you to succeed. We don't care how many degrees you have. We don't care where you are. We don't care what school we want you. We just want you to do this job and get over it. We don't care about you. We don't care about your education. We don't care about your school. We just want you to do your job. Do your job. Do your job and get over with. Get over with it. So it is a lot. It's like a list, a burden that has been put up against you to fail. 
to fail in, lo in life. And they put a list of it, put a list of your relatives, or you look down this list of people that have been in your life, in your family lineage, your family tree. And this list of people in your family lineage have failed all in life. This list has includes drug addicts, homeless people, uh, convicts, criminals, dangerous people, mental illness, uh, dangerous to society, whatever it is, this list in your family life. And this list also goes down to politicians, to doctors, to nurses, to community advocates, to royalty. And this, this, this list is all on your family tree. It's a list of your, of your, your human, the human bonds that you're connected to. It's a list. And you look down this list of your family tree, or you look down this list of accomplishments in your life, and you say, who am I, and where do I go, and where do I become? How am I supposed to succeed? based on this list that either has been set up for me to fail or that has been set up for me to succeed. What do I do? How do I prosper through any kind of circumstance that is going through my life right now? What do I do? Okay, so what do you do? How do you get, either you get on the list or you can get off the list. Or you can choose to get on top of the list, be number one, and do whatever is necessary in order to change your family's life. So what do you do when you have this list set up for you to fail? Like, nobody in your family has succeeded. Everybody in your family is gamblers. Everybody in your family is drug addicts. Everybody in your family is criminals. Everybody in your family is low income. Everybody in your family has been married to disabled people. Everybody in your family has been married low. Everybody in your family is low. So what do you do? How do you succeed? How do you succeed? What do you do? What do you do? And sometimes, most of the time, you either fight through it, emotional fight, or it's like a legal fight where you have to go through a whole bunch of legal issues. You're sued, you go through bankruptcy, whatever it is to get over that burden of your past history or that familial history, as well as dealing with life issues in order to somehow overcome the burden and overcome this curse that has been put upon you in your life. What is this? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Sometimes it's list in life. This family list in life doesn't make sense at all. Like, when will I make it to the other side? I will never make it to the other side. But I'm still here in life, in this city, in this ground, okay, for a reason. I'm still standing and I'm still breathing for a reason. What do you do? How do you overcome that burden? How do you overcome that list? The list, the list that has been put up for you to fail. So, this is Queen Battle. Email me, email me with any kind of questions you may have at battlefirstaid at icloud.com. That's B A T T L E, the number one, S T A I D, at icloud.com. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>